Wonderful. It's 5.30. We're going to get started. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined us. Um, my name is Tanya Haas, and I am the health and wellness writer here at MedCan, and I'll be the host of today's online information, information session on the upcoming climb of Mount Kilimanjaro this July. Um, and I will be joined by three experts who will play an important role in this year's expedition. Now, if you are joining us uh, by telephone, um, these numbers were uh, available in the email, so if you're having trouble, please check your email for registration. And we will be recording this, uh, so we will be sharing this as well on our website in the coming days, if you'd like to pass it on to friends or family. So um, this adventure is part of the MedCan Kickstart program, and the purpose of which is to enjoy healthy living through healthy experience and travel. This year's Kickstart journey will take you to Tanzania to climb Mount Kilimanjaro, one of the most beautiful mountain locations in the world. And this will be our third Kickstart trip there up the mountain. Uh, past participants have experienced transformational change as a result of their training and climb. And I invite you to check out the Kilimanjaro, Kilimanjaro articles outlining your personal stories on medcan.com. And today you will learn about what you can expect on the trip this July. Now, before we get too far into the details, uh, we don't want you to get in, to be intimidated by such a climb. So some people call Kilimanjaro the every man's Everest, since it is the most achievable of the seven summits. Our trips have had people ranging from 17 to 70 to do this successfully. So that's quite a range. This trip is for people who want to explore the world and find health while doing it. It is for people who want to challenge themselves both mentally and physically. And it's for people who are excited and perhaps even nervous about stepping outside of their comfort zone. Now, to tell you more about this, let me introduce you to my colleague, Rob Turner, who is the Kickstart coordinator. So Rob is your personal trainer and a fellow climber and an experienced Kilimanjaro summoner. He's already done it twice. Um, some more information about Rob you can see on the screen. He's been a trainer for over 15 years. He works with trip climbers to prepare them both mentally and physically to summit safely. And he coordinated and attended the last two climbs, where he developed relationships with the Kenyan and Tanzanian communities um, with uh, Medcan's Medcan Noiza. And he also has developed relationships with the mountain guide teams. So Rob, I'm going to pass the microphone over to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Tanya. Uh, as Tanya said, I'm the coordinator of Kickstart program, uh, and I've been fortunate enough to help organize and lead the MedCan team up Killy for the last two years. <clears throat> Once again, I'm looking forward to building another great team this year and uh, helping everyone complete what I think is probably one of the most amazing and unique adventures you'll ever experience. Uh, nothing quite compares to it. Um, again, my role is, uh, here is to support the entire team in any way. Any questions or concerns, anything big or small, uh, can be directed to me. Uh, so if you can turn your attention to the climb summary. Uh, I'd like to go over a few important points on this trip and why we chose some of the options that we did for uh, 2017. As you can all see, we are leaving on the 28th. Uh, we'll depart from Toronto and we will be off the mountain on August 7th in the afternoon. Uh, some of us have already booked our flights, so what we've done here is we've made it so that we have an extra day in Arusha because we, uh, the flights typically arrive fairly late in uh, Kilimanjaro Airport. So this allows us to have one free day before we actually start the climb. This is kind of beneficial because it allows us to meet the Summits Africa team. Uh, we'll have a nice team dinner. Uh, and then there's, of course, a uh, equipment check. So basically, um, the Summits Africa people will have you guys lay out all your gear and we make sure that you have everything that you need going up the mountain. Uh, it's important not to leave anything out, uh, so they'll, they'll make sure that. There are rentals at Summits Africa if you do uh, require it. So on the 31st, we will begin the hike. Summits Africa team picks us up in the morning, and they drive us to the gates uh, at the park of Kilimanjaro, which is actually a national park. And we are starting on the western side of the mountain, uh, this year at a gate called Landerosi Gate. And as you can see, uh, we're going to be doing the Lamosho route this time. Uh, it's an eight-day trek, uh, which means that we have a lot more time on the mountain. And this is important. Uh, basically, we're giving everybody a better chance of summiting. 
and uh, that way we can acclimatize as we climb. Uh, as we as we are climbing, you'll you'll find the the trend here. I know people are concerned about whether or not they'll make it. Uh, and as far as acclimatization goes, um, the words on the mountain are poli poli, which in Swahili means slowly, slowly. So the pace is real slow. You can kind of go at your own pace. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, just take your time, and uh, hopefully we'll all make it. You can expect to be on the mountain climbing each day, anywhere from four to six hours. Uh, it's not a great distance covered, but it is quite a bit of elevation. Now, once each day, once we've completed the climb uh, in camp, you'll show up. The guides and porters, as you can see in the slide here, they greet us and they have the camp all set up, and they'll take you to your tent, and you can you can wash up, you can relax. Uh, there's lots of great food. Uh, in fact, many of the, the climbers from both years that I've been up there uh, just rave about how good the, the meals are and you'd be really surprised at how how a great job they do. Uh, great fresh soups, pasta, you name it, fresh coffee. Um, so once you're in the camp you can do whatever you like. Most of us turn in pretty early and, and try to get a good night's sleep. So at the end, this is, this will all be us again. Uh, you can see everyone's pretty tired, but you can see that it's well worth the, all the effort. Lots of big smiles, and we take some time, a few minutes, just to collect our thoughts and and uh, and really enjoy it and take in this, the views. And then uh, we'll head back down. So for this trip. Medcan has taken a, a three-pronged approach here. Uh, we want to make this adventure as easy as possible, providing every team member the necessary tools that you will need on the mound. Uh, as you can expect, not, not only is this climb physically demanding, but it's also a, a, quite a mental challenge as well. So uh, what we've done to get you prepared mentally is we partnered up with performance coaching uh, to develop two 60-minute interactive group sessions to help develop your mental resilience. And we have Lori from Performance Coaching here today, and she will elaborate on this in just a few minutes. And in addition, following the climb, we'll come back and we'll have a 60-minute debrief, and we can reflect on the trip and how it went and how you might be able to apply some of the acquired uh, toughness skill, mental toughness skills uh, that you can uh, use in your everyday life. So the second part of the approach, uh, this three-pronged approach, is uh, the body. And this is kind of where I, I come in. Uh, I've been a personal trainer here at MedCan for eight years. I've been in the business for 15. So I want you guys to be as fit as possible. Uh, everybody always asks, how fit do I need to be? I can tell you firsthand that people of all shapes and sizes, fitness levels, uh, and all ages are up on that mountain, and a lot of them are successful. Uh, but just to be, uh, cover all your bases, just be as fit as you can be, and you should have no problem. So you can see that we are, uh, so in addition to the mental, uh, the mental toughness coaching, we're providing three personal training sessions uh, with a personal trainer at MedCan. Uh, I, I would like to take on everybody, but my schedule is quite busy, so I will be hand selecting uh, a few of a few personal trainers that I'm going to work closely with. Make sure that we uh, are training similarly and we're targeting the areas that are most demanding uh, on this trek. Uh, as well as the personal training sessions, we're also going to provide one nutrition uh, consultation. Last year we had two members who lost over 15 pounds leading up to the climb and they swear that it was the key to their success. So eating better leading up to the climb. They felt better, their bodies started responding and performing better and uh, that's definitely going to help you when you're walking for five or six hours uphill for seven days. So our third and final element to climbing the mountain is the medical side. Uh, also joining us today is Paul Trudell. He is our physician's assistant. He's a special forces uh, soldier from the Canadian military and he will be joining us on this climb and in a few moments he'll speak about his role 
and how you're interacting with each team member to address any health issues or concerns you might have. Uh, I know from experience that all the climbers uh, in the past have just um, had a real sense of relief having medical assistance on the trip and we're, uh, Paul is super qualified so it's great to have him on board. So there's a early bird special uh, along the medical side. So if you sign up before March 31st, you'll receive a complimentary travel clinic consultation with a MedCan nurse and sh they will advise you on inoculations and any medications you might need for the trip. So I'd like to pass the mic to Lori Quinn from Performance Coaching and she'll tell us a little bit more about the mental resilience program we are offering. Great, thanks Rob. Uh, building just a bit more on what Rob has said, uh, Performance Coaching was founded 25 years ago by Dr. Peter Jensen. He's a PhD in sport psychology and has attended nine Olympic Games, most recently of course in Rio, and has helped over 70 athletes medal. With the world of elite sport as our research laboratory, what we've been able to do is cross-pollinate the very best ideas from high performance sport into the business world, where we teach our business clients to think, perform, and behave like athletes. Dane, who you see on the screen, is our CEO. He'll be facilitating two sessions prior to the climb that will help you prepare mentally and one post-climb session, which is where you can talk about the experience and how to plan to apply what you've learned on the mountain back into everyday life. Dane has a tremendous ability to help his people understand what's needed to go beyond what they even thought they were capable of. And he'll do this by teaching you the exact same skills used by our Olympic athletes. He's a furious cross-pollinator between the podium and the boardroom, and he's a trusted advisor to CEOs and senior leaders in both sport and business. Dane's a highly sought-after facilitator all around the world, and you'll find he has a really engaging style and a really terrific sense of humor. So with that intro, I'll now pass over to Paul. Thank you, Lori. Uh, so just a little bit of background by myself. Uh, I've been in the Canadian Armed Forces for just over 26 years, always in the medical world. So um, my specialty really is backcountry medicine. So you guys can definitely rest assured that I'll look after you. Um, I've been a paramedic for a while and, you know, a lot of clinical medicine as a physician assistant. I love mountaineering, so anything that goes up, ice, cliffs, mountains, I, I like to do, so uh, I know my stuff. Uh, let's see, in the military, uh, there's a lot of groups that go up to altitude and, you know, they never go without med medics or a medical team. Um, with that, you know, I've done the uh, Canadian Diplomat Mountain Medicine course, uh, so I know all about altitude illnesses, uh, how to treat that, and you know, if you have to, uh, keep you safe from getting worse. And that's all I got for now. I'll pass it off to Rob. Joseph. So he, Joseph will be our Summits Africa guide, and we've hand selected Joseph. I had the the privilege and honor of climbing with him two years ago. Uh, as you can see, his resume is incredible. To climb Kilimanjaro 280 times <laughs> is just, it blows my mind. And uh, I, I wanted him to, to accompany us, or to lead us up the mountain this time as well. Uh, he's, he's just, he's a very kind and thoughtful person and he's a lot of fun. And uh, you'll hear him saying poly poly and telling you to sip your water about a thousand times. <laughs> but you'll appreciate it. For sure. Thanks so much, Rob. Thanks so much, Lori and Paul. So um, this is what's it, what it's going to cost you, and this is this includes all that we've discussed today, from the mind to the body to the medical. So these prices uh, include the mental resilience training, the personal training and nutrition counseling, and also the guides and the expertise. So the double occupancy is $9,970. And the single occupancy for the eight-day summit is ten thousand five hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, and as Rob mentioned, so um, if you sign up with a two thousand dollar deposit by March thirty-first, you get a complimentary consultation at the MedCan Travel Clinic. Um, and so you can just see some other details of the of the trip right there. And of course, you can always 
contact us um, at the following email and phone number uh, with any of your questions and um, any of the team would be very happy to uh, address those questions. Now we do have a few questions from some of the participants so feel free to submit your questions um, if you'd like to in the in your dashboard on the on the side. Um, so first question is what is the summit day like? So I'm going to pass this one over to Rob. Rob, can you tell us, you know, you've done it twice. What does it feel like? What are you, what's going on uh, on the mountain? What's happening? Okay, this is uh, definitely the toughest day. Uh, it's a steeper terrain, so um, you're going to be getting up early in the morning. Uh, you start out in the dark, and you begin your uh, ascent, and you will make the rim of the volcano uh, around 6.30 or 7 in the morning. Uh, we'll be reaching a, uh, a spot called Stella's Point. And once you reach the volcanic rim, uh, the sun just starts to come up. Uh, the view is absolutely unreal. Uh, and yeah, it's just indescribable. Uh, from there, you still don't be fooled at that point because I've seen it before. People get excited. It's great to be there, but you still have another 45 minutes to an hour to get to Uhuru Point, which is or peak, where which is where the sign is. So to complete the climb and get to the highest spot, you have to get to Uhuru. Uh, once you get uh, to the peak, we uh, like I said, you get to spend a maybe a half hour to an hour tops up there. You can just take in the sights, take a few photos, uh, and then you're going to start your descent. It's about another two and a half climb downhill. Uh, it feels good to be going downhill because you haven't done it for about seven days, uh, but it is stressful on the body because you uh, going downhill on that steep train is quite tough on the knees. Uh, so there's two and a half hours to camp. We'll have an hour at that camp to rest and to have some food and fuel up. And then the idea is to get down even lower uh, so that we can all recover and have a great sleep. It's another five hour hike to the next camp and at that camp we have a big dinner and you will have the greatest sleep of your life. I guarantee. <laughs> All right, thanks so much Rob. And please feel free to ask us questions. Uh, our next question is what are some of the medical issues that arise on the trip? And Paul, can you help us with that one? Well, outside of the uh, just the normal hiking, uh, uh, like I guess you call it injuries like blisters or feet, I mean, people will be tired. Altitude is going to play a part in this, but everybody, and it affects everybody differently. It's all genetics. So most commonly, you'd be tired, you have some, you know, headaches, maybe some nausea, but none of these are anything that, uh, you know, I can't fix with the stuff I bring. So be fine. Okay, thank you. Okay, our next question is, um, Lori, this one's for you. Um, can you give us an example of how Olympians benefit from the type of coaching at, um, at your company and how it would benefit people on the mountain? Yeah, yeah, thanks. That's a great question. Um, the, the Olympic athletes that we work with, uh, mental preparation for them really includes knowing what they can do and how to adapt to any challenge that they might face in their competition. So much of an athlete's preparation is to have a real detailed plan in their minds of, of their complete and full performance. I don't know if anybody on the line remembers Ingemar Stenmark. He was one of the greatest giant slalom athletes of our time. And he only practices with two gates. He goes left and he goes right. And when you ask him why, he says, the rest I can do in my mind. So much of what Olympians do is mental rehearsal. We believe, as do the athletes we work with, that imagery is the language of performance. So really being able to visualize yourself climbing the mountain, even before you take that first step, will be of tremendous benefit. And Dane will teach you the same imagery skills that we use with our athletes. So once you get to the top of the mountain, no matter what challenges you face, you will be mentally prepared. Wow, that sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Lori. Okay, our next question is regarding the flight. Um, is the flight included in the cost? And that is a short answer. No, the flight is not included in the cost. Okay, another question. Uh, well, that actually, Paul, you, you spoke about the physical symptoms on the mountain. Um, anything else that you think... Um, regarding physical symptoms or concerns people might have? Uh, there's nothing really uh, outside of just what I mentioned before. Um, mm -hmm. Again, if there's something that comes up during the, the trip, we'll take care of it. Okay. All right, well, um, Rob, is there anything else you'd like to mention that wasn't covered? 
Uh, I think we've covered most of it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, this wraps up our seminar. I hope this helped you. And if you have any follow up questions, please do not hesitate to email kickstart at medcan.com or call us at 647 404 1360. And uh, wishing you a wonderful time on the mountain. And what, what do you say in, uh, in. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone for joining us today. Have a good night. Bye bye.